major difficulties that I've seen over the years with people in grief is that uh, we live in a culture that does not talk about loss or grief. People are unaware of it. And then all of a sudden they're plunged into it. And at the time where they are at the, the most vulnerable point of their life, the most vulnerable place, intense pain, they also have to learn about the reality of what grief is. And many people think, basically, I'm going crazy. What is this happening to me? I'm going over the edge, they're going to lock me up. But if we know ahead of time, this is grief, this is what to expect, then we can realize I'm not going crazy. I just have to go through this experience. There's a, uh, a fog inside of our brain, as it were. And um, you'll be talking to somebody, and all of a sudden in the middle of your discussion, it's like, what was I talking about? You're not as sharp. This is why we uh, tell people, be careful when you're driving, because this is a time of your life when you're most likely to get a ticket or have an accident. And I'll say, have you ever been driving and you don't remember the last 10 blocks? And they say, oh my goodness, yes. It's like, I woke up down here and I wonder what happened in the last 10 blocks? And that's happened to me as well. And so we're not as sharp. Uh, as I work with high school kids uh, who have been through tragedies, uh, I have to talk to the teachers about lower your expectations when it comes to the grading. They're not gonna be remembering. Now, I remember one young man that uh, talked to me after a shooting in the high school, he said, I knew all this material before the shooting. Now I go back and it's like, I've never seen it before. What happened to my brain? It's like it just wiped it out. And this is what grief does to us. To find a Grief Share group meeting online or near you, or to learn more, visit griefshare.org.